Welcome again to TechSpot DE. Um, this is going to be a two-part um, tutorial on um, cron tabs. Um, the first part is cron tabs themselves, and the second part will cover uh, things like maintenance scripts that you can use cron tabs for. Um, cron tab basically is a way of automating things for um, daily tasks that you want to complete, um, whether you're using a server or a desktop. Um, generally these are used on server models um, more than desktops although the uh, the the average hobbyist or um, computer nerd or something will use uh, cron tabs on the Ubuntu or Linux desktop um, as well um, and cron tabs uh, just so you know are not linked to Ubuntu they are Linux um, functions so you can use them pretty much anywhere um, okay, so let's um, go ahead and do a quick introduction to uh, what the cron tab is. Um, what I've done basically here, I've just made a map of the cron tab and its um, formats. Uh, basically, uh, let's say you want to do a backup, um, and you want to do your backup. Let's say it's 20 minutes past uh, 10. Um, every day. Um, that's quite easy to do, really, because um, all you have to do really is speci specify um, the 20 there, which is the minutes. Um, the hour we said 10 o'clock is specified in uh, 22, 24 hour clock, so it's 22. And because we want it done every day of the week, and we issue a star there, a star there. And a star there because it's every day, um, every month, every day of the week. So every day of the month, every uh, every month, every day of the week. So it's uh, twenty minutes past ten at, in the evening. Now the CMD on the end means command, uh, and we can just that can be linked to a file. Um, so, for example, we've got our file located in uh, user local sbin, um, and we just call it scripts. The folder's called scripts, by the way. And for example, we want to do a backup, so we've got backup.sh, which is um, the executable file type for um, for Linux. Uh, so basically what we're telling that to do is at uh, 20 minutes past 10 every day of the w week every day of the month uh, execute that command and that's it um, and that will continue to run until you re either remove that line from um, your cron tab uh, page or you actually remove the script I wouldn't recommend just removing the script um, because you're making crontab or a process run unnecessarily by keeping it that line in there. Okay, so how do we get this to work then? This let's, um, let's have a look, shall we? It's quite simple. I'll keep that there just to the uh, to the right, just to s so you can keep an eye on what I'm doing. Let's open um, the terminal here. Okay, to get to the cron tab page, it's very easy to be honest. Um, you just you can use sudo cron tab and then minus e. Um, you don't have to do anything else than that really. It'll ask you for your password, which it has done. Now this is the first time cron tab has been used in this machine, so it's asking us what editor do I want to use. Um, you got ed, nano, and vim, of course. Ed is, pr is. I don't know. Ma I don't know many people that use Ed to be honest. Um, Nano is probably one of the most popular because um, it's easy to use, and Vim is quite popular amongst the sysadmins because again, it, that's fairly easy to use as long as you know the commands, like anything really. But for this demonstration, we're going to use Nano, which is, as it suggests, the easiest. So we just hit number two. I press enter. 
Um, that's the last time we'll ask you that question. Once you've started to use Clontarp, it will always assume that you want to use Nano. Um, we've got some uh, brief notes here uh, to give you some ideas of how to set up Crontabs and as you can see here um, there's a little example of basically um, a backup and that example probably means nothing to you and you can pretty much ignore it unless you understand exactly what it's doing um, and as I um, showed you in my format one here um, you pretty much got the same thing here but it's probably double dutch to most people that's why I, had to, I, I like to explain these things first um, because not everybody knows what M, H, or DOM, MON, DOW they, to, to the average user they may be special commands but they're not it's just minute, hour, day of the month um, month, day of the week and the command that's it and um, just so you know um, let's just type in here quickly so I can get the thing to drag down it's because it's in a VM it's uh, it's unpredictable sometimes. Okay, f so for the minutes, they're always specified at zero uh, to fifty-nine. Um, the hour, you could probably guess, is uh, zero to twenty-three. Zero being uh, twenty twelve o'clock ish. Uh, day of the month is always specified as one to thirty-one. Month is obviously one to twelve. So I should make this a bit more uniform. Uniform. I've never been the tidiest typer in my uh, complicated mind. I have to admit. Okay. Um. And day of the week is specified as um, zero to six, and the command usually it's basically anything that you want it to be. Uh, it could be a link to a file, or it can be a direct command. Um, I would uh, say stay away from direct commands in Crontab. Um, actually link them to files so you can manage all your scripts and files in one place and uh, it won't prevent crontab executing other things as well like I said a command could be like there's a file in ETC I wouldn't recommend putting them in ETC but that's just an example generally you can use it in uh, what I've suggested here use a local lsbin and I've just named a folder scripts uh, as an example, but I'll go into more detail in that on the next tutorial because uh, that's about maintenance scripts, etc., and how to set them up. Um, so, just to give you an example here, we've got a cron tab here. We're going to we'll type in 30, I think, um, 081006, and a star. We'll go home. Uh, teaches the user. Um, I don't know. Uh, my SQL backup. Dot sh, of course. Okay. So what we're telling it to do there on the thirtieth minute, basically, at eight a.m. on the tenth day, on the sixth month, which is June, of course every day of the week do this so I'll say that again that's the 30th uh, the 30th minute so that's half past eight in the morning um, on the 10th day of the month only on June 
every day of the week. You're probably saying, why is it saying every day of the week? Well, obviously, the 10th day could be any day of the week um, in June. It's not going to be the same day every year. Um, so that's why we have to specify that. If you don't, it won't work. Simple as that, really. Um, so there you go. That's, um, that's the first example. They're pretty easy to understand once you've got to grips with them, to be honest. Um, now, what if you want to run the same job twice a day? Um, that's quite simple as well. Uh, so let's go for, let's have a think. Uh, good W0, um, 12, um, let's go 18, I think. Let's say star, star, star. Home, teach. Oops. Um. Okay, I just called it empty temp temporary directory. Um. Dot sh. It's obviously not going to do anything because it doesn't exist. Okay, so. Uh, we want this to. Um. We've specified double zero. Double zero is top of the hour, by the way. Um, that means on the dot. So we want it to do it at uh, 12. Now that's 12 p.m., okay, because it's not double zero. So it's 12 p.m. And we want it to do it at 1800 as well, which is uh, 6 o'clock p.m. And of course, it's uh, day of the month, every day of the month, every uh, month of the week, every day of the week, every month, every month rather, every day of the week, and there's the command. So to do it twice in um, a day, we put simply just put a comma between them, and that is it on that one. Um, now you can make this pretty much as complicated as you <laughs> as you want. Um, I'll give you one more example. Possibly one more example. Let's see how we go. Okay, so let's uh, think about this one. Um, maybe let's say I want it to check um, the status of something. Maybe during every day, um, including the weekends, I think. Um, but only during our working hours. Let's go for that, shall we? That's a good one. Um, so let's go uh, top of the hour again. We'll go to double zero. Uh, let's say you start work at eight o'clock and finish, I don't know, five o'clock, for example. I'll space these stars out anyway, just for easy, easy on the eye. Okay, teach. Uh, check my status sh okay here we go um what we've done here is like i said we've got the double zero which is top of the hour so that's and then we have um from eight o'clock a dash specifying two uh five o'clock which is 1700 and then we've got the star which is obviously day of the month um, any day of the month, er, any month, and every day of the week as well, and that's the script that we're executing there. Um, that's a pretty nice one. I like that one. It's very useful, to be honest. Um, now, let's have a think. What would you? Uh, so let's save that. Okay. Now, what you need to do, by the way, um, is also what well, you don't need. Well. It's what I do anyway. Sometimes I just um, <laughs> restart Crontab, the daemon. But you don't need to, by the way, because um, Crontab is a daemon, and um, whenever you use Crontab minus e, it will instruct the daemon to reread the uh, to reread the cron the contents of the Crontab for you. So you don't really need to do that. Okay. Um, but like I said, it's it's just habit that I do it. I you don't actually need to do it. But there you go. Anyway, so um, what if you want to see uh, what cron tabs you've got? Uh, this um, you just go to cron tab minus L. Oh, sorry. 
I did the I did the cron tabs as root by the way. I do cron tabs as root normally because I want to give it root permission. So sudo cron tab minus l. As you can see, there it's listed all the cron tabs or the contents of the cron tab file um, that I've got there. Um, and that's that. Uh, what else shall we go through? Okay. Um, if you want to issue the um, a command to see what other users may be have a cron tab, you would just simply enter uh, cron tab the user's name. Uh, so it's minus u, which is the switch, and the user's name. It's root minus l. It won't show me because it's root. I haven't got the privilege to do that. But if I did um, sudo it would give me the result because I've elevated my privileges um, to root. Okay, so that's that. Um, I showed you how to edit, which you can use cron tab minus e, which is easy enough to do. Um, we can do that with other users cron tabs as well. By the way, all we have to do is just um, just go cron sudo cron tab minus e. E, but before minus E we just put a switch in there for the user and the user's name for example sudo cron tab u root minus E by the way I'm using root um, as an example you don't if you're using sudo and you don't need to use the um, user name root because it already assumes that you're using it as root so it will, it will let you edit roots uh, cron tab, for example, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, something I would pretty much stay away from when it comes to making cron tabs is uh, stars across the board. Something running continuously, unless you really, really need it. Um, but uh, I would pretty much avoid that if you can, because uh, it puts a lot of process he uh, memory intensive processes on the um, on the, your system um, okay yeah I'm gonna leave it at that I think for the moment um, because there are there is a more complicated version of this in the next tutorial um, which we'll go into and that will be on um, some maintenance scripts so let's just control that and clear that um, so thank you for watching and um, please subscribe of course um, if you have any comments or anything that you wish to see um, or if, in fact if you've noticed a cosmetic error that I've made or a typ typographical error then please make a make me aware of it and thank you for watching <laughs>